Hello Leo and welcome to your oracle messages for whenever you get this video and it resonates for your situation regardless of the date or time. Uh, keep in mind Leo that this is a general reading so if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs or feel free to check out the past oracle messages. Those are all timeless, okay? So you guys are actually in a state of manifesting right now. This might be a time, I'm seeing this meditation pose. For some of you guys, you may need to create a sacred space um, so that you guys can really use this power that is kind of like the Ace of Wands energy here. Um, yeah, you guys are being uh, drawn to really manifest and create something new in your life. So some of you guys, just make room for that happy ending. It's now within your grasp. Some of you guys need, need to make a, a, something happen here to end. They don't want you to look at whatever is ending as a sad situation. It's actually a happy ending, okay? But there may be some decisions to make. There may be something, um, you know, divinely guided to you, especially when it comes to plans and de decisions about your future right now, um, connections or partnerships, um, situations that really make you feel that you're expanding yourself, okay? Some of you guys are feeling at a crossroads right now about a situation, okay? The Divine Father is co-creating with you to work with the Divine Source right now. They, the Divine wants you to feel your power, Leo, okay? Um, so let's see what else comes out for you. Yep, you guys are being lit up the path right now. So we will light the path to new possibilities for your future. Stay aware. I'm really getting like two of wands energy right now, um, Leo, right? Making room. I feel that you guys are at a crossroads or some of you guys just need that little nudge. Um, just make room for that happy ending, okay? Because they're going to light your path. As you guys start making room, you guys will see uh, things will be lit up on your path for your future. So stay aware. Okay. What else for Leo? There may be something here with drumming or something for some of you Leos, not all of you. Whoa. Okay. Studying and learning. Yeah. You guys are experiencing a lot of things in life and have, um, so Leo, your, your guys's prayers are being sent to heaven. Okay. This is why the divine father is, um, close by always with you. So you guys are, um, thank you Sa Sandolphin for delivering my prayers to heaven, your prayers, your wishes, whether it's vocalized or not are being sent to heaven. So some of you guys, you may need to just sit and, and pray just to bring you guys a sense of trust into a sense of being in the present moment as well. And just believe that your prayers are miracles in themselves. It starts something here and it's being delivered. Do not doubt this. Some of you guys, if you've been praying about something on your path, you're getting it now. This is your confirmation. Okay. You guys are also... Um, being told that you guys are seeing every day as a learning day here. And some of you guys are being um, pulled to learn something, study something, okay? There is a lot of profit. There is a lot of growth with this. So move forward. Some of you guys right now, Leo, just need to continue your path of studying and learning. Um, and it's just going to really um, become very fruitful for you in the future. What else for Leo? I really see this as the page of pentacles here, Leo. So earth sign is showing up here. You guys are going to receive some type of, uh, for some of you guys, maybe some type of little financial blessing or some type of news or good luck here. Um, that really starts you guys off in expanding your awareness, expanding something that um, is very meaningful and deep for you. 
All right, I don't know why I was hanging on to that like that. Oh my God, is that why I was hanging on to it like that? It was like weird. So this is funny. Capricorn had this card. So Leo, maybe you dealt with a Capricorn or some of you guys have Capricorn in your chart. It doesn't matter. Don't hate, meditate. Yeah, your angels are trying to help you guys um, not get triggered, right? <laughs> See, ooh, look at that. Make room for that happy ending. See, something has really put you in a state of getting challenged, triggered. You know, it's like you, there's this energy with you, Leo, that you really don't like feeling angered. You don't like feeling that you have to hate or feel resentful, right? So spirit's like, hey, Leo, start making room. You guys already, I don't know why I'm picking up eight. Okay, I am picking up eight of cups energy too, Leo. So I feel for some of you guys. You're, you're definitely feeling a lack of <clears throat> emotional fulfillment or even spiritual fulfillment where you're at right now, or you're just really sensing to really move on from a situation, okay? Just stay centered. Don't hate, meditate, and use the miracle of prayer. What else for uh, Leo? Yeah, trust, love, and appreciate yourself. See, this is about you guys really showing respect for you, Leo, right? Where do we need to make room? Where do we need to make that happy ending? Whatever it is. I see a lot of you guys um, being respected anyways, okay? Being true to you. Loving and appreciate, appreciating yourself. A lot of you guys are just, it's, there's something about leadership here too. What else for Leo? Yeah, Leo, this is a time to make some healthy choices and your angels and guides are ex doing exactly that. This is why they don't want you to be in this energy where it's constantly triggering you or it's constantly making you feel, geez, I've got to always retreat. I've got to recharge my batteries. I got to get away from <laughs> whatever it is or just feeling challenged, right? Your angels are guiding you guys through healthy choices and um, healthy directions as well. I'm, I'm seeing um, whether this is, you know, things, habits, people, you know, whatever it is. Um, something is, it, it's about balance right now for you, okay? What else for um, Leo? Yeah, there may be something significant for some of you Leos with um, yoga um, and meditation. Okay. Oh, yeah. Dark. Oh, they got the. Okay. Mm -hmm. Five of Pentacles energy is coming through. I'm going to read what's on the bottom here. So take what resonates and then we'll just talk about this. Dark night of the soul, feeling lonely and a loss of a home for some of you guys. Um, there is recovery. Um, we got to make sure that you guys aren't in this energy, um, you know, feeling resentful or hurt, um, hating. Um, it's, you know, you don't want to, it's like whatever you guys are, you don't want to do like self-fulfilling prophecies by negative thinking here. Um, you guys are going to have recovery. Some of you guys may have been in a, a sense of disbelief, a belief about a situation or a person in your life. Some of you guys were in a time of maybe sacrifice, a time of felt like suspension, Spirit wants you to start with yourself, Leo, right now, and things are going to light up on your path um, so that you guys can just really feel like you're moving forward and you're healing yourself and you're making recovery. Um, for anything, for any of you Leos, I was getting this page of pentacles energy with this studying and learning. For any Leos dealing with finances, there is some type of start with money or something that can um, really be prosperous for you or a very tangible here that's going to be something that you can utilize in, um, as a resource, okay? Uh, I want to get a little bit more too with this five of pentacles energy for Leo.
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming through. Give me a little bit more with this Five of Pentacles, what you want Leo to know. Yeah, we're easing the blockage, which is holding you guys back. Just go for it. Um, if it's fears, um, if it's not having enough of something, whatever it is, if it's feeling lonely or isolated, you guys are going to, going to recover. Your angels and your guides are making sure of this and they are monitoring your path right now. So allow this easing, right? Kind of just go for it. Just, just go for it. Dive and go for something here, okay? Don't be afraid to get out of a, a sense of comfortness or a sense of comfort zone. Uh, what else for Leo? Leo, have you guys laughed today? Find your joy and lift your soul. Yeah, a lot of you guys are feeling very abandoned or lonely or just in a state of just feeling like you're having to recover by yourself. So a, a good way to bring joy and healing to yourself is to try to find the things to laugh about, okay, in life. Um, so make sure that you guys are doing something that is bringing you into a state of, you know, hopefulness, not being in a state of any type of disbelief or just, um, you know, or at least not feeling bogged down or heavy here as well. What else for uh, Leo? It's almost like they want to change your focus from hating to <laughs> laughing here. Okay, some of you guys just need to hear that it was just a bunch of frogs in the past. That's why. <laughs> but now you're, you've learned something. You've experienced something here. So spread your guys' wings. Oh, look at this. Spread your wings and fly. Yeah, your angels, your guides are very proud of you guys. Something you guys are doing and have experience and learning and utilizing is making some type of steady progress here for you guys. Definitely get Knight of Pentacles energy coming through. Um, okay. It may feel very slow, but it is steady. So you guys just need to be proud of yourselves. All right. What else for, um, Leo? I feel for some of you, Leo's need to hear something about, um, they're proud of you and they will be proud of you if you stand up for what you believe is right for you as well. Okay. Showing respect for yourself. Oh, you guys have had some type of, um, maybe for some of you guys, like some type of um, ending, like a death or rebirth, a transformation for some of you guys. I'm picking up Scorpio energy coming through too. You guys, there is going to be spiritual um, assistance for you, especially when it's in regards of any type of communication, but also your spirituality or, or some type of, um, you know, something that is very, very um, soul driven for you. Okay. You guys are going uh, towards your passions. There may be something here for some with um, travel here. Uh, fire sign is showing up. I want to get a little bit more of what you want Leo to know about this eight of fire here. You guys are going to be given opportunities, okay? And you may not be able to plan out too far ahead and you don't need to. But don't miss opportunities as well, Leo, okay? I want to get a little bit more with this Eight of Wands for Leo. Give us a little bit more. We have this card of... Okay, so something was definitely blocked because it was for your transformation. I was just talking about you guys going through some type of significant transformation. Some of you guys are in it right now, um, but you guys are definitely coming into a sense of beauty here. I do sense that there is some type of energy where there's a lot of passion being thrown at you, Leo. So I feel for a lot of you guys, expect some messages as well 
maybe some back and forth uh, passionate communication from some of you guys. Um, but you have to know, there was a situation that was blocked or, or maybe even felt forbidden at the time. And the reason why is because it was, it was time for you and it is time for you guys to really come into this grand beauty, okay? Some of you guys may even have Libra in your chart as well. I'm kind of, um, cause this is kind of like reminding me of Libra here. Um, or there was like a, yeah, just definitely feel like there was, there's something important for you, um, as far as your transformation, as far as your spiritual acceleration and your purpose and what you feel that you're driven to do this, something was just blocked. It was forbidden at the time here. Okay. Because this is the thing. It's like, I don't know. It, your energy, it's, you want to just make sure that you're not, your energy isn't being tainted <laughs> by other energies, right? You want to come into this full blossom without it being disruptive. And this is what's happening. You guys are really radiating beauty and you guys are going to come into a real divine um, experience, new divine senses as well. Okay. What else for Leo? Some of you Leos, there may have been a block when it came to communication, when it came to um, pursuing travels or something here for some of you guys um, in order for this prop, a proper trans, a transformation to take place within yourself. What else for Leo? Yeah, you guys really are going to have, um, there may be something significant for some of you Leos with the home here, but yeah, better times are ahead, Leo. This is why something was forbidden for you. New home or hearth for some of you guys, the six of swords energy is coming through here. So you guys have to really just trust this process. I know it's really uncomfortable. Um, there may be some uncertainty, but you guys have, it's like you already went through the storm. So um, it's the light at the end of the tunnel for you, okay? Look, make room for that happy ending, okay? Because you guys are ready to move forward. You guys definitely had some type of ending here. Or some of you guys just need to hear there may be an ending. You just need to prepare that it's a happy one, so don't don't second guess it <clears throat> what else for leo i feel a lot of you leos are really going to stand out and get a lot of like i don't know just a lot of lookers and like a lot of um cupid's arrows like thrown at you move your body leo there may be something here with this healthy choices doing some exercise moving your body getting out of any type of stagnant energy right um, your angels are motivating you guys to move your body and energy and look this is that eight of uh, fire so the eight of fire is a, a, a yeah they are you guys are going to get an energy like a, a huge energy surge when it comes to moving your body when it comes to um even taking care of yourself some of you guys may be inspired to really um maybe even improve your physical looks or whatever it is uh, i definitely see you guys getting into some type of um, for some of you guys uh, dance or um, I don't know some that was coming for some of you guys but move your body okay it's gonna help also it's gonna help with the creative process for a lot of you guys too with that fire energy um, and it's gonna help a lot of you guys um, you know Leo's with your fire energy to use that fire constructively what else for Leo We got the five of wands, yeah. Conflict, competition, and hiding from truths. 
you guys are going to have some a, a sense of um, rest and homecoming. You guys are going to come into a sense of real a real foundation and a sense of um, security. And it is funny. I was picking up something with the home here with the six of swords and it, uh, four of wands is showing up. And that is definitely a card of about the home, too. So there may be something very significant with home or relocating, getting a new home, whatever it is. But a lot of you guys just need to know you will get a time to rest and relax and feel a sense of nirvana, all right, with this uh, Four of Wands, um, a time of lightness, especially when you guys are really, le this is the thing, you guys, I mean, oh my goodness, yeah, don't hate, meditate, right? What's a healthy choice? Five of Wands is showing up, so it's like, this really speaks about picking your battles wisely. Is it worth it, okay? Because there is some energies right now that I feel that you guys need to just be aware of um, some of you guys, there is a situation where people are hiding from truths, right? There's a, or maybe even a feelings of um, competition. Some of you guys don't worry about something that you're pursuing as well um, when it comes to feeling inadequate or feeling not good enough or feeling there may be too competition because this is something, you do something very unique anyways. But um, yeah, you guys may need to just kind of withdraw your energy, especially if there's a lot of drama or conflict here. Um, I want a little bit more with this five of wands too. see, I'm seeing that forbidden card too. That was hmm, mm -hmm, a little devil energy. Give us a little bit more too with the five of wands. Some of you Leos have may have been in a lot of drama or there is just a lot of drama. That's why. Oh my God. Yeah. You want drama or you want to be happy? Give us a little bit more too with the five of wands for Leo. Mm -hmm. you guys take control of a situation right now absolutely with the emperor energy aries energy is um here be fearless and i was picking up leo talk about leadership here this is you being a huge some type of there's just some type of power with your energy a lot of you guys are messengers of spirit um so don't doubt that so this is all about taking control of a situation. You guys, especially with that, I mean, this is what I'm getting for the five of wands. And for some of you guys, you are fighting with this emperor energy because I just feel that they're very controlling or there's just some kind of um, unhealthiness going on with this energy, okay? Um, you may be, in, or some of you guys maybe have been feeling conflicted because you guys have, may been, uh, have been feeling very powerless in your situation. So spirit wants you guys to know that you guys don't need to deal with this, okay? You got this energy of a bald eagle of this emperor energy here, okay? Power, control, um, leadership, and being fearless. Okay, uh, what else for uh, Leo? Oh, some of you Leos. There's a, another story coming through here for some of you Leos. Uh, there may be some fighting with like a father figure or some issues with a father figure or something with the home and, and drama. And there could have been like, there could be like drama or has been or have been like some type of drama with like that father or masculine type energy or someone who's just really controlling in a home situation for some of you guys. And that's exactly why it's like make room for that happy ending. You're going somewhere else. So just take that if it resonates. It's not going to resonate for all of you. I'm just seeing a story there. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. So remember, Emperor Energy came out. We're talking about that Five of Wands. And now look what just, I mean, I was just saying that. Take control of the situation. We know you can do this. Holy cow. Whoa. You guys don't feel the lack of confidence in something. So, it's like you don't be scared to just really take control of the ship now. You guys are meant and destined to be, um, you know, be very powerful and really take the lead in something. Okay. Don't. Do not get involved with situations that make you feel like you got to continue to not hate and you got to continue to meditate because it's just, you know, a vicious cycle for some or just you're just tired of it. OK, take control of the situation. What else for Leo? 
I just put that upside down. See, I put this upside down. There's a reason why. You guys are feeling, some of you guys, your guys' energy, yeah. I feel that it's very sporadic or you're just really having to, you need to harness all of your energy and draw it back to yourself right now, especially if you guys are in any type of energies that are like drama or, you know, triggering here, okay? All right. Oh, that's funny. Let's see what this is. Oh, take a leap of faith. Yeah. You guys are ready to take a leap of faith, okay? And they're they're going to help you guys take that leap of faith because they know that you guys are doing something like unknown right now, right? They're going to light your guys' path to new possibilities, so just stay aware. And they're going to help you take a leap, leap of faith and they're going to jump with you. And I, that's kind of funny that I was seeing that because I was seeing you, I was seeing this waterfall, right? I mean, that's exactly what this leap of faith is, right? Go for it. Just kind of, you know, it's like once you just jump and let the stream uh, take you, you have no choice, but it could be very exhilarating. So they want you to take a risk here for some of you guys. I definitely feel Aries energy coming through too. Uh, what else for a uh, Leo? And then I don't, I, I just, some of you guys might get messages or communication about your transformation and how much, how much of a beauty uh, you are. Okay. That's just what I'm picking up. Ooh, see, you guys dealt with deceit. You guys look hiding from truths. There is a situation where some of you guys too, don't be deceitful for yourself. Don't tell yourself something either. Not all of you guys, but listen, some of you guys don't tell yourself a story about a situation or a person. Right now there is some type of deception. So figure it out. Is it these other people? Okay, don't hate, meditate. <clears throat> Take control. Of I did it again. Why did I do this again? I, I put it upside down again, weird. Okay, well, not weird. This is like uh, spirit wants to bring this back to attention here with this deceit, five of wands energy. Take control. Man, you're a lot more powerful than this energy here. It's almost like this person just likes drama or there's just this energy of, I don't know. There's just a lot of fiery energy and a lot of like feeling jealousy and hurt too. What else for a Leo? See, Leo, why something is being forbidden or was forbidden or whatever it is. Honor your beauty. See, I feel that you guys, this healthy choices and oh my goodness, I love that this came out because this is the energy that I was feeling. I'm really getting Empress energy too. And that's the thing. I really feel that you guys just need to trust yourself and just honor your beauty. See yourself as always beautiful because I feel there was an energy that was not trustworthy or there was this energy that fueled like jealousy or rage with you or something like that okay and you're questioning your own beauty or you're questioning yourself maybe there was a sense of feeling rejected no way remember spirits got your back there are reasons why things are forbidden or situations or whatever okay take time to pamper and nurture yourself what else for Leo? Choices. Ooh, and the moon card coming out too. Yeah, there may... There, <laughs> There's a lot of secrecies and deceit or something going on that you guys just need to trust right now, okay? Um, you guys, I want to get a little bit more with the choices. Um, was I? I don't know, I 
was thinking maybe did, did I say Leo maybe you guys were at the two of wands energy possibly I don't remember but anyhow we're seeing this choices card give us a little bit more some of you guys really um okay it's almost like, I don't know, I'm just seeing this thing about you just being strong about your choices and not worrying about whether, you know, is it going to be right? Is it, you know, just questioning something because it's like there was something, there's something that is not quite right in the situation. And you guys are feeling this on an intuitive level here. So you guys have to really trust yourself over others in a situation right now. Um, okay. So you guys are being asked to have fun, especially when it, okay. We have fun. You too must enjoy yourself. So you're going to be brought choices. You guys have to trust your, your visions. You got to trust what's going on right now. Uh, choices are coming. And I feel like you guys are going to have a lot of choices when it comes to having fun because you guys are going to take control of a situation. We have this message about have you laughed today? <laughs> oh, God. But there is something about taking control here. Okay. You guys don't fear any choices as well. Okay. Do not fear choices. You're getting, you're getting guidance, um, about choices as well. Let's see what else for, um, Leo. And the other thing too, I'm seeing like a card of <clears throat> choices and consequence with this. There may have been situations that could have been very off-putting, right? So you've got to ask yourself, Leo, is it healthy for you? What is good? What is, you know, what do we need to make room for? What do we need to put down? That's just a lot. What else for Leo? Ooh, beautiful it landed right on that honor your beauty and um, the card of beauty actually and I love that we have a rose because now we have sunflower and I want you guys to notice this um, this the flower the excuse me the rose has a what I would see like radiance and Sun and here we've got this Sun card you guys are destined for success and radiance um, don't question your um, self-esteem also I just feel like saying that uh, you guys are really destined for success and a lot of um, happiness here because I see the sunflower as like the sun card as well, Leo. So I see you guys really coming into your power, okay? And really following your North Star, really following the light within you. And you guys are going to be radiating a lot of beauty. I'm just saying, I feel like there's just, again, I was telling you guys, there's just going to be a lot of like Cupid's arrows shot at you and a lot of messages, okay? Uh, what else for Leo? All right, that's it for those. So let's find out, Leo, how is spirit helping Leo? How, whoa, 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 card just fell over. Guess what? It's a page of water that just, which is a page of cups. It just fell on the ground here. Let's see if there's going to be another. Let's see. So how spirit's helping you guys <clears throat> is absolutely some of your guys' creative abilities, um, helping with something with your guys' maybe sleep or dream state right now. Um, but especially having a new beginning when it comes to, um, for some, love, when it comes to communications, uh, excuse me, messages of love for some of you guys, and being very, very creative, okay? I see a whole new experience here, right? They're going to light your guys' path, and I love this because I just noticed we will light the path to new, possibility, new possibilities for your future. Stay aware. Here's Moon card, okay? This is a card of uncertainty, right? You just don't know. It's dark. They're going to light your way. Uh, let, I want to see. What else is a spirit helping Leo? Whoa. So you guys, um, okay, I got to leave that there for a second because it just, so.
so look at this how else spirit is helping you guys is coming back to a sense of innocence and releasing anything that's going to make you guys feel tempted or obsessed spirits helping you guys with temptations maybe feeling like you're locked down on something or that you can't let go of something or things that really tempt you um okay so pay attention something for some of you guys is there's something with lust or um something like that okay so spirits helping you guys with anything that i mean we we're just talking about the devil a car or this tasmanian devil and, and this deceit um so you know that this temptation card is the devil card here so capricorn energy is showing up here um let's see what this is oh my god you guys are leaving very toxic situations yeah th there's somebody there's somebody that it's almost like they love getting you angry or something i don't know for some of you guys so guess how spirit's helping you guys look six of air guess what that's the six of swords so there's just more confirmation and validation you guys are moving away from hurt betrayal deceit toxic energies oh my goodness take a risk and and leave what you guys know you need to make room for that happy ending okay Love and light. Take care, Leo.